if I'm giving surface level on my vlogs, but baby, nowhere near. I'm very sorry, but it's giving sunscreen. Unacceptable! I am going to be laminating my eyebrows. Girl, everything in the world is backwards, okay? Like. Happy Thursday, and welcome to the start of another vlog. So it's. 10 o'clock, literally on the dot. It's Thursday, I had a doctor's appointment this morning so I just left that and now I think I'm gonna go and get my car washed and go get my toes done because you guys, I have not had, I have not had my toes done in like two months. Now, they're not chipped, they're just grown out. So last time I went, I got acrylic on my big toe. If y'all are going on vacation or it's like your birthday or it's like something really important, get some acrylic on your big toe. When I tell you no chipping, like my, my toes literally look perfect. It's just that they're grown out, that's it. Cause I get gel polish, so yeah i'm i'm not gonna show them to you I, no one has seen them because i haven't um i haven't gone anywhere like i haven't been wearing them out girl but nonetheless let's go ahead and go do that i forgot to introduce myself hey i'm india if you're new to my channel welcome hit the subscribe button down below girl give the video a like turn on your post notifications you know join the fam okay so yeah let's go ahead and get started with our day okay so we're going to lunch <laughs> i just left um the pedicure place my toes look so cute like they came out really really good i'm always so happy when like you know it's so exciting when you get a pedicure and then it comes out really good so yeah that's great so i decided who am i okay that we're gonna go to lunch so it's literally 12 33 so i already know it's about to be oh actually it's one two three four okay so yeah so we're gonna go in here I'm going to Landry's um so we're about to sit outside on the lake it's gonna be super pretty um it is kind of hot it's 77 well my car says it's 77 but I'm feeling like there should be like a good breeze out there I want to sit outside so I know hopefully it's not like super crowded because like it literally is lunchtime right now but I'm really hungry so let's go ahead and go I edited my TikToks while I was um, getting my toes done, so I feel like I've done some work. <laughs> and I just, I'm trying to decide if I want to get like a little drink or not. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. Mm, you know, something like cute, because it's, I'm, you know, sitting outside, something like kind of tropical or whatever, but maybe, maybe not, girl. Let's go. Lunch was amazing. 
it's 1 39 so i stayed like an hour because when i i told you it was 12 34 literally one two three four when i got out the car so yeah it's been like an hour it was really nice on the water really nice breeze so i wasn't like sweating or anything it was actually like so nice so yeah um, now I'm just I didn't and I didn't have a drink either so um, I I'm trying to decide what I want to do now um, definitely like go home but I was thinking mm, do I want dessert <laughs> I literally I'm obsessed with sweets I don't know if I make it quite clear in the vlogs how much I love desserts and just cookies ice cream just all the all the sweets i'm a sweets girl so i'm just like oh my gosh i haven't had um frozen yogurt in so long and i'm close to a tutti frutti so i kind of want to go there and get some even if i just get like a little small baby one you know so yeah i might do that otherwise i'm gonna go home but yeah Okay, seems like they're closed. They have a they have a sign on the door that says closed, please come back. But it's like the middle of the day. It's 1.49, so I don't know. I said it looked kind of dark when I was oh yeah, and the blinds are closed. And the light is off. I'm literally I'm literally just realizing this. Okay, this was a sign that I didn't need anything, so it's time to go home. Happy Friday! It's 218, girl. We have been on a roll, okay? We have been on a roll this morning. I got up at like 5.30 this morning because I had to go to the grocery store for my grandmother and then I also needed things, as you guys can see, these bags. I was literally thinking, does anyone else get groceries as often as I do? Because I promise you, it seems like in every vlog, I am hauling groceries. Like, what is going on? So after that, I brought all the stuff to her and then, uh, she wanted to like order some things online and stuff so i helped her out with that i ended up like eating breakfast and everything so i've basically been over there all day like i said it's 2 18. and then when i left i went to i went to the smoke shop and i got some hookah stuff so um well hookah like flavors i should have put this in the refrigerator because it's definitely giving hot but um i went to the hookah place got some stuff so i got I was running low on all of my flavorings. So I got blueberry, mint, and watermelon. So I wanted to get peach, they didn't have peach. So I just got the blueberry, the watermelon, and the mint. So I'm thinking about doing um, blueberry, I gotta say blueberry peach, cause I really wanted peach, but probably blueberry mint. And maybe throw a little bit of watermelon in there. So yeah, I have a, did I, sh I don't know if y'all have ever seen my hookah or not, but I have a single one, but I also ordered one from Amazon that's like the clear one. I think like the color changing lights and all that. So I might try to actually set that one up tonight because I've literally been having it for months and I never used it. <laughs> Just because this setup, when, one night I tried to use it and the setup was like a little complicated and I was just like, you know what? I could just grab my regular one and call it a day. So yeah, that's the plan for tonight. I also picked myself up a little bottle of wine. Tonight we're going to be drinking Mayo Me. Y'all know I love a good Pinot Noir. So this is what we have. Y'all know my fave is the educated guest, but they didn't have it. So I got the Mayo Me. So that should be good too. And then, yeah, girl, basically that's all that's been going on. Like, it, it's just been like a busy, a busy day. So I'm excited to just chill out tonight. No plans for tonight. I am going to be soaking these nails off, as y'all can probably see. One is already missing. Um, but these are so old. These are the Valentine's Day nails. Like, let's be real. So these are the Valentine's Day nails. As they've been popping off, I've just been gluing them back on. Like, if you're a content creator... I feel like it is never convenient to not have on nails. It's never convenient. Like, I, it's really not convenient this weekend either, but I'm just like, let me just go ahead and take them off so I can have a few days break because I know that underneath, some of them are green. Like, look, 
Y'all probably can't really see. This one is really light, just like faintly in this area. There's like a little bit of green. So that's when your nails lift and water gets under them, that's what, hap what happens. This has happened to me before. So all I did is use um, tea tree oil with a Q-tip and I just like put it on there a few times a day and then it clears up. So no big deal, but still like who wants to have green nails? This is so random, but if y'all do not have a salad spinner and y'all eat like romaine lettuce, get a salad spinner. Like shout out to my mommy for washing all of my lettuce. <laughs> so I bought this bag of spears, romaine spears, romaine spears, romaine hearts from Wally World and she washed two of them for me and it was so quick in the salad spinner. I see a lot of people eat wet lettuce. Not really a fan of that. Um, so that's like the main reason I don't buy a lot of romaine lettuce often. I normally just buy spinach because I can just eat it just straight out of here, you know? But the salad spinner, like after you wash it and put it in the salad spinner, you like press it down and it keeps spinning around so all of the water gets off of it. And it works so fast. So like if you wanna do it and then like actually make your salad like a few, you know, 15, 20 minutes later, you can actually do it and have dry lettuce. Like so random. But I just, y'all know, I like to talk about home stuff, that kind of thing. So yeah. Okay, let's open some packages. So the first package that we have is from, and we're back. So first package is from Static Nails. Your reminder to self-care has arrived by Static. Okay, so this is cute. Let's see what they sent you, girl. Okay, so these are press on nails. Oh, these are cute, cute, simple. Really like these. Okay, let's wait for it to focus. There we go. All right, really, really cute. So they're French, but they have like a little small silver glitter. This one is, oh. This one is the same shape. Same color design idea, but it's all silver. Or the lines are silver, rather. And then one more set in like a pearlized white. These are really cute. So it says, I think they're literally just like traditional press on nails, but the shape that they are is supposed to be like more of a natural nail type of style. So these are super cute. I'd never heard of this brand before. But I'm really excited to try these out. I really, really like these white ones. I like all of them, honestly. They're all really simple and like classy, you know, like go-to nails. Like something you can just wear all the time. As you know, I love serums. Like serum is my favorite part of skincare and I'm so excited about how many I've been accumulating. <laughs> and this one is, ooh, a Retinol Youth Renewal Serum. Love that, love a good retinol. If y'all don't already have a retinol in your skincare routine, you need to add one, okay? Retinol is how you help to get rid of texture on your skin. So, super, super excited to try these. I will be using one of these tonight, period. Probably the retinol. I'm really, really excited about that. Okay, thank you, Marad. Kind is the new pretty, period. Oh my gosh, you guys, what? <laughs> okay, shout out to Tarte, cause what in the, <gasps> I've been wanting one of these. I've been wanting one of these. I literally just put a whole bag of these in my Amazon cart and they sent one, I'm so excited. Y'all know the little, like you put your little like two fingers in and it's like a puff. This is so perfect because normally when I go out, I bring my beauty blender. <laughs> And we know how round and big a beauty blender is. And I'm always just like, this is so aggravating. Like I really need something flat, like something small and flat. So excited about that. Okay, wow, so many goodies. <gasps> a lip plump. If you've ever watched any of my makeup videos or my get ready with me's, if you haven't, shame on you. Okay, <laughs> subscribe to the channel. Turn your post notifications on when you're done watching the vlog. 
go check out a get ready with me i think i'm gonna film a new get ready with me this week a chit chat get ready with me but anyway i said all that to say that i always start off with lip plumper i love 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 the Too faced lip injection but tarte has sent over a lip plumper so i'm super excited about this hmm okay i'm not gonna put it on but yeah next okay i don't know what this is it just says glow on it is it like a highlighter stick i don't want to press it out but i'll play with that i wonder i think it might be like a highlighter stick or something they sent some foundation this is the oh i've never is this a new foundation have they always had fa face tape you know i think their concealer i believe their concealer is called shape tape i'm pretty sure i have one i have the creaseless shape tape creaseless concealer i think that i use for my contour so this is called face tape so this is a foundation this color actually looks like it might work so i would love to try that out okay another foundation product oh they sent the amazon um or amazonian clay in the color tan deep golden definitely willing to try that out lip products another lip plump looks like let me because there's so much i don't want to keep y'all here forever like there's a ton of stuff in this bag so we have oh they said oh shape tape glow wand i think these are new products like i have not honestly like perused in sephora in quite a while these are cute shape shape tape glow wand so this one is kind of dark i can probably use this for my contour and this one looks really close to my skin tone okay shape tape glow wand let's see how this is because i don't really have much on my lips mm. it's like a lip oil nice really nice blush tape in the color berry i'm excited about this i've been wanting to try a liquid blush for a very long time so really happy about that i will be using these next time i do a get ready with me i'm going to be using some of these products so y'all definitely stay tuned for that we have another juicy lip we have another glow this one is a lip liner this is pretty like a um a reddish brown oh this is a blush in the color oh my god obsessed obsessed this is in the color energy let me wait till it focuses because this is so pretty it's like a like a bubblegum pink i don't know if it's picking up as much on camera but oh my gosh this is stunning super it's literally like bubblegum pink super pretty cannot wait to use that love all of the packaging and just the colors Ooh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors. It's literally toasted, like it says, like all neutrals, a few neutral shimmers. This is gorgeous. This is, um, this is like the perfect vacation palette because it's mini. And I don't know about you guys, but if I wear eyeshadow, it's going to be neutral unless I'm like, I don't know unless i'm like doing something like obviously for mardi gras if y'all watch the mardi gras vlog i did like purple green gold right but just on every day especially like on vacation this is perfect you have your transition color your crease something for your lid you have a matte you have a shimmer a1 i just love the leopard print gorgeous 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 I am about to, I don't even know, low-key that headband was giving me like a slight headache, so I took that off. I took an Excedrin, so I'm honestly probably just about to lay here for a little bit, and then, yeah, I'm going to be chilling the rest of the night. If I feel like, you know, up to it, you know, then I'll make my hookah, have my wine. I'm about to soak my nails off, though, for sure, and watch something. So, You Was Out, the second half of You Was Out, and chris rock has a comedy special so i'm gonna watch that that was the plan for tonight was to watch the comedy special 
have the hookah have the wine have something a little fun for dinner you know or whatever so yeah that that might still be the plan right now all i can tell is i'm about to soak these nails off and when i do something else i'll be back and y'all be sure to follow me on tiktok like uh, whenever you guys see me do pr this is from my tiktok so this is all like beauty body care skincare all that kind of stuff y'all follow me over there okay at india ajay i'll put it across the screen it's linked in the description box down below okay join us join us over there okay so clearly i tied my hair up <laughs> i am about to soak off my nails which i was not going to show you guys but in case y'all have never tried this out before if you wear press-ons and you want to soak your nails up well you can do this for acrylic too it's just going to take longer because they're acrylic obviously and it's thicker but if you have press-ons um take a plastic bowl put some water in it heat it up for like a minute and then stick a regular bowl in the inside and then pour your acetone in here and do it like this so you're making like a double boil i can take this light off my camera <laughs> and so i'm not even using it so then you basically made like a double boiler and so the bowl gets hot and when the acetone is hot it helps to take your nails off faster okay so just a little a little tip from your girl you would already know this if you followed me on tiktok watching amber i don't know if y'all watch not um not amber martin i love amber martin that's my girl but other amber amber shoal if y'all don't watch amber shoal i don't keep up with her like as much anymore but occasionally i do watch her videos she is doing a singapore shopping spree you guys be for real be for real look can y'all see let me zoom in amber has been on youtube for a super long time i've been subscribed to her for years like she's one of the first youtubers that i followed so can y'all see the necklace look at this beautiful diamond necklace are you kidding me right now be for real hello so it's 7 31 i'm making my dinner obviously i'm in pajamas and my hair is wrapped up but after i talked to y'all i ended up going to um i ended up going back to the back to the grocery store because i decided that i wanted to have a chicken burger for dinner and maybe avocado is just like my favorite thing in the world like i just i just love i cannot eat my chicken burger my salmon burger or my shrimp burger if i don't have any avocado like avocado people who don't like avocado you're the weird one okay the chicken burger is obviously under there. <laughs> Avocado, romaine lettuce, red onion, a little drizzle of the Brianna's Asiago Caesar, a little sprinkle of cheese just because I forgot, and then fries and Chick-fil-A sauce. Hola! Como esta? Hopefully everyone responded bien. <laughs> it's 6.55 on Sunday. So I didn't talk to y'all at all yesterday. I'm pretty sure we left off Friday night with me cooking what did i eat on friday oh the chicken burger which was so so good with the french fries the avocado it was delicious okay delicious yesterday i stayed in i told you guys i didn't have any plans for the weekend so i just stayed in and i watched you i watched you yeah we can just finish this perfect so i finished you so if you guys have been watching it right I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try like not to really spoil it, but we'll just say the first, so Netflix released like eight or six episodes, I think, and then they released the other four this weekend. So the first part of the show is, I think everybody who had previously watched like all the other seasons were kind of like, mm, like, okay, but where are you going with this? You know, like what, what is, what is this really? You know, I feel like nobody was really like super excited about how it was going, but baby, <laughs> If you watch the first half and you were like nah like i don't know what they've done with this i'm not about to watch the rest go watch the rest okay go watch the rest because we got some flips and twists and turns yeah i'm not gonna ruin it but just like yeah yeah go go watch the rest go watch the rest it turned out to be really good i enjoyed the season so i'm curious to see if they're gonna do a season five because the way it left off they definitely could do a season five so we'll see we'll see but yeah it was good. oh and last night i watched the um that's what i watched last night the chris rock special so i feel like people say chris rock is not funny i mean i had a few laughs 
you know it wasn't like I was on the floor like you know it wasn't like I was on the floor laughing you know but there were a few things I was just like you know haha and there are a few things where I had a little more of a haha and then you know that was it but it wasn't like the whole thing sometimes I was just kind of like nodding like yeah that's true you know or whatever but yeah I mean I know you can still watch it it's an hour long and I like watching the Netflix like comedy specials the last one I watched was I just remember it was Snoop Dogg I feel like it was Snoop Dogg and he had other people on it like I'm pretty sure I know Cat Williams was on it for sure and like other people like it was about four or five different comedians that one was good like I enjoyed that um but yeah so I mean he's funny he's not like I don't know to me I wasn't like dying laughing but it was good you know what I mean so anyways girl anyway today is Sunday like I said we're getting ready to cook so in fact let me sit out my chicken so I all how many times am I gonna say so so <laughs> here's the chicken I already seasoned it so I just seasoned it a little earlier like before I took my shower and I have it in this bag here so we're gonna do barbecue chicken so I don't normally I don't really eat barbecue sauce right so if I've mentioned to you guys before about me and tomatoes and it being like a migraine trigger so obviously barb well almost obviously yeah, maybe everyone doesn't know this but barbecue sauce is tomato based so I'm gonna try it out the last time I had it was over Mardi Gras and I had it on some wings and I feel like the previous time before that when I had it on wings I was good so this is barbecue sauce that my mom had mixed up already so I just took it and I'm gonna use it on my chicken breast so we're gonna do that we're gonna do yellow rice and shrimp I'm also gonna do spinach so I have my baby spinach right here just fresh I'm gonna cook it on the stove and then I'm going to do something oh I'm gonna do sweet potatoes I need to wash these I'm trying to figure out I'm gonna do these two I'm gonna do two sweet potatoes cut them I'm gonna cut them in half so after I cook them, I'll cut them in half and do, y'all will see, butter and cream and whatever else. And I'm also going to be making cornbread. So we have a really good meal for dinner tonight. I'm very excited. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I figured I would do like a little vlogging cooking segment. So yeah. And I'm doing yellow rice with shrimp. I don't know if I said that. So my shrimp are over here. They should be almost defrost. I can go ahead and clean those. Really just rinse them off, dry them, and season them. Yes, let's go ahead and just get started.
Thursday, but it's not Thursday. It's Wednesday. I'm rushing the week. Okay. Happy Wednesday. Or is it Thursday? Let's double check. No, today is definitely Thursday. Don't ask me why I'm confused about the days because literally I knew it was Wednesday yesterday. Nonetheless, happy Thursday. Okay, we're making pumpkin bread. It's been several days. <laughs> well, not several. I talked to y'all Sunday night when I was cooking. And then after I cooked, I have not talked to y'all since then. But I haven't been doing anything either. I mean, I've been, you know, like working and stuff, but not like any type of activity that I'm like, oh, let me show y'all. So yeah today is thursday i was supposed to i'm making pumpkin bread so let me just see oh i need two eggs not one so yes making pumpkin bread so like i said or like i was saying i was supposed to film yesterday just film like a few videos girl that are like non-vlogs because i don't have anything to post on this channel because the vlogs i cannot give y'all weekly vlogs because there's just not enough going on for me to be giving a weekly vlog like the vlog <clears throat> so vlog po <clears throat> oh my god what is in my throat vlog posting days are going to be thursdays that's what i've officially decided i've officially decided that vlog posting days are going to be thursdays at three so if you guys are looking for me or you know definitely vlogs thursdays at three that's the plan I could not talk to y'all because I was messing up my pumpkin bread. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair so that I can film these videos. It's just like, it's, well, for one, it's super greasy. So I have this dry shampoo that I've been having for a while. So I'm just going to spray some of this on it and hopefully it'll make it a little, oh yeah, that looks a lot better. Make it a little less greasy because I don't really want to do anything because I'm going to take this out next week. So I found out that you can actually save it. This video is live now, you guys, by the way, on my main channel. If y'all want to see the, um, the install, the tutorial, actually know about the hair because you want to do the style, it's on there. Y'all know my main channel is linked in the, or I'm going to stop saying main channel because it's really not my main channel. It's my hair channel. So my hair channel is linked in the um, description box. So y'all can go check. Oh yeah, that looks so much better. So y'all can go check that out but i found out that you can um reuse these so i can just kind of like slide it off so i can save them which makes me really happy because i i need to like i need to do something else because i don't want to put any more heat on my leave out like i've i've put enough heat you know i only flat ironed it that one time so i only flat ironed my hair one time since i've had this style in i have not put any more heat to it i know i'm natural so i'm not trying to damage my um my natural hair so yeah i'm about to do another style but i really want to save this so when i like get my keratin treatment okay it's gonna be bomb so oh that looks so much better okay so i feel like it's not that bad i do have a headband that i could wear but i also i'm just trying to see if i maybe if i can wear it down I'm thinking about using this edge control and just smoothing this with the edge control and just pulling it to the back and like laying it. Am I the only one who curls their hair with a flat iron? I literally never use a curling iron. I feel like I, I cannot curl with a curling iron. I... I don't know I just feel like my curls always come out so much better this is my first time curling this hair now granted it's two weeks old at this point but it's holding a nice curl and who knows maybe we can bring a new segment to the channel something related to spirituality because I know that I don't discuss it much but you guys I'm a very deep individual <laughs> I don't know if I'm giving surface level on my vlogs but baby nowhere near okay nowhere near so I don't know, I would love to bring a like spiritual segment to my vlogging channel. I don't know, or not vlogging channel. This is really, this is not a vlogging channel. This is my new channel. So it's not, yes, there are vlogs because I am vlogging, but this is just like my new YouTube channel. Like I know, oh yeah, my hair looks super cute. Okay, I like it. What do you guys think? So I... If you guys watch any older YouTubers, like who have been on YouTube for at least five years, um, 
yeah, who have been on YouTube for at least five years or longer, you will probably hear them talk about how their channel has died. Or you'll just look at their views and be like, what the hell? Like they might have like hundreds of thousands of subscribers and they're getting like 10k views on a video. And basically the channel has just, it's died. It's run its course. Like YouTube is just not pushing old channels anymore. So I made a new channel, period. So that's what we're doing. Um, so yeah, this channel is going to be like everything. So I'm thinking about, I don't know what the spiritual segment will be. I don't know, maybe I can do like one video a week just talking about something. I know my nails were green, right? So this is what, this is what they look like. They still have a little tint on them. This one is the worst, but it's definitely improved a lot. And this is just me putting tea tree oil on it. So I'm about to put on some nails. These are the nails. They're not in the box anymore, but these are the kiss nails, but they're the Empress ones. Y'all know these look like, I don't like, look, let me show you this real quick. This, these are the nails. Y'all know they look like almost just like nail polish that's just like gel that you just put on top and remove the little tab. I use this little tiny file. So I'm using this to just kind of file my nails. And then they give you a prep pad, which is probably an alcohol prep pad. And you just wipe it off. And then you pull off the little sticky tab and put it on your nail. So I'm thinking this will be super easy for me to just put on and then literally just take them off tonight because I want to continue to put the tea tree oil on my nails to make sure I clear up everything um, before I have to put on, you know, like my real press on nails with Girl, peel off the little thing on the back. Oh! <gasps> yeah. Okay. And press it down. Okay, yeah, super easy. I guess hold five seconds. How nice do they look? I mean, seriously. So quick. It's, I mean, it literally took me maybe 10 minutes. I Just very, very, very quick. They feel so nice. Imagine having like hardened gel nail polish that you like sat in a nail shape and then that's what you're putting on top of your nail. Like that's how they feel. They're like jelly-like. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. These are so good. These white cheddar puffs from Target, amazing. So once again, I feel like we are lopsided. It's. 25 okay i'm done well i want to be done i filmed three videos so if you guys have not seen the spiritual <coughs> i need water <laughs> if you guys have not seen the spiritual awakening video and you want you know a bit of a deeper dive into my spiritual side because i really do want to do videos i really do want to make spiritual content like my vlogs are going to stay the same. Fashion videos will still be here. Get ready with me. Chit chat. Get ready with me. All that. Nothing is leaving. But I would like to add in a little bit of spiritual content. So I'm trying to think about how exactly I want to do it. If y'all have any topics that you want to hear me talk about, questions you have related to my spiritual journey, your spiritual journey, spirituality in general, leave them down below so that I can do a video on it or, you know, put it in a video. And yeah i feel like really free <laughs> like it was a story time so if you guys like like story times i mean it was a story time but it was how i woke up the story of how i woke up girl that's what it was so i did that and then i did like a things i did on my spiritual journey when i first started kind of thing things that i've done up until now i didn't include everything because i didn't take any notes i literally just filmed that video on a whim after i was done filming the first one i was like i'm gonna film the second one and i just did it so yeah definitely can have a lot more detail on that in the future but i did that then i filmed a body care video i don't know if you guys like body care stuff if you follow, follow me on tiktok okay period for all your body care needs but i did do a video of like my favorite soaps favorite body creams favorite body oils exfoliants all that kind of stuff that video will be going up probably after this one. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel. Okay, but that's what's going on. So honestly, I would 
would really like to be done because like I said, it's like 5.30, so I'm, I'm over it at this point. Um, good morning, happy Friday. It's 9.13 in the morning. I'm in my beauty room and I'm just like getting dressed for the day. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm about to do in a second, but I'm really on here because I wanna show y'all these lip products real quick. So I know I showed y'all last week or actually, yeah, last week, but it's gonna be in this vlog. So this is the Tarte stuff. So I put everything away in here but the lip oils that i was trying to figure out what exactly was going on so these are actually all different shades that's why there's so many of them and it tells you on the bottom all the different colors that they are so i'll be using these and letting you guys know which one is my fave or which ones because i'm sure i have more than one fave but these are lip and cheek oils so i already have it on there they all come off the same color so let me just explain this one is yellow so I'm already wearing it. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but my lips are super pink, right? <laughs> They're super pink and no, I do not have any pink lip product on. The only product that I have on my lips is my Lip Plumper, which I love by Too Faced. I use this one all the time. This is the only thing I have on my lips. It's clear, but my lips look super pink because this product, um, I believe they said something about activating the ph i don't know if it makes the ph in your lips go up or down but either way oh well i guess down lowers the i actually don't know but just know it does something to the ph in your lips and it makes it more pink so it's lips and cheeks so i put some on my cheeks too and i'm looking at my viewfinder and i'm like i feel like you can kind of see that my cheeks look a little bit flushed so you can so i've been using I don't want to put it on my lips and then put it on my face. So I've been using this yellow one on my lips and I picked up this orange one for my cheeks. Um, and so I've been doing it like that, but it makes it pink. So I love it. <laughs> I think it looks so pretty. So I have this on and then I just put a little, like I literally just opened this and I took just a little dab, like three little dabs on my cheek. And then I just took my finger and just kind of like went like this to just, Kind of push it in and it just gives your face like like a flushed look like on your cheeks so i think it's so pretty and i love the pink on my lips i did this last week but i had already like turned off the vlog so i was just like whatever i'll show y'all another day but this is so cool so i really like this product this this is really cool so if you're looking for something like i don't have any makeup on today i just put on some mascara I like filled in the tail end of my eyebrow and that's it. Put on my lip plumper and then I put a little bit of this on my cheeks and I feel like it looks so pretty. I love it. So yeah, anyways, it's 9 a.m. in the morning. I am about to pack an order really quick. Shout out to whoever ordered. If you watch me on YouTube, hey girl, thanks for your order. I'm gonna mail it out today. Um, so I'm gonna pack that, mail that out to her ajayofficial.com you already know linked in the description box down below i'll put it across the screen okay be sure to shop and um we're gonna go to target really really quick really quick okay we are not looking around um target and then um bath and body works has candles so we're gonna do that too um but yeah we'll talk more in the car i'm gonna go ahead and pack this order and stuff and then we'll get going okay we're in target so they have the perfumes right the finery they have this is all they have so they don't have all of them flower bed i wrote down what the dupe is supposed to be i know this magnetic candy is product candy i have to look on my phone and see what that one is supposed to be before the rainbow is dolce gabbana light blue not another cherry is tom ford lost cherry sunphoria i think is sole blanc and then flower bed sweet on the sweet on the outside might be um billy eilish so i'm gonna smell them and let's see i want to smell magnetic candy because I, I need something to spray it on i don't have any paper oh shout out to the super long cbs receipt this one is magnetic candy it smells good okay I might get this I like the way this smells sugar violet pink 
pomelo and cotton candy. I like it. Let's smell flower bed. Oh, they have a discovery set. This is cute. They're all samples. Let me see what this one is supposed to be. Flower bed is Chanel Chance. I don't know what it is I'm picking up, but some there's something in it I don't like. Or I'm not like obsessed with. Okay, I'm not gonna get before the rainbow because I already have Dolce Gabbana light blue. So let's smell Sunphoria. Hmm. I'm very sorry, but it's giving sunscreen. It smells like sunscreen to me. I'm, I'm not a fan. I think I'm going to get the Prada candy one. Let me smell it again. Magnetic candy. I don't... Do y'all like Tom Ford Lost Cherry? Because I don't know how I feel about... I don't know how I feel about the cherry scent. Let me spray this one again. Yeah, I think I'm going to get this. Y'all, look at this bullshit. It would be pouring. I have an umbrella, it's in the car. I put on my raincoat though. I kind of just want to make a run for it because. I do need to go to Bath and Body Works, but the inside, the inside of the mall is closed. So I have to go to my car. I have to go to my car and drive around. So let me see how I can arrange myself. Y'all are sitting in the basket, by the way, which is why it's lopsided. I feel like it's slacking up. Perfect timing. Okay, let's make a run for it. We made it into the car. Thankfully, it's literally pouring down raining. Why did I decide that I was going to come out today? QTNA. Okay, so everything worked out great because I've already shipped off the order. I already picked up my packages from my mailbox. I took out the trash. I got what I needed from Target and now I'm already over here by the candle, so I'm just gonna go in. I do have my umbrella. So I'm gonna do that. Let's do a little mini, um, a little mini Target haul since we're in the car. So this is literally not even for me, but 100 calorie packs of pretzels for my mom. And I got some wine for tonight. I've been trying to basically only drink wine on the weekends. So I normally buy a bottle like Friday and I'll have it like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then I'll be done. So I got my Mayomi again, you already know. I love this wine okay period but I noticed today that they have a Mayomi bright so if you're like not really a wet a red wine drinker or you're just getting into your red wines but you want to try it get the Mayomi bright I'm sure it's gonna be even lighter than this one and then I got some aquaphor which I wanted only one but all they had was a two-pack so I guess that's what we're rocking with and then y'all saw, this is the only finery I got, the magnetic candy. I'm actually gonna spray some on because I have on um, vanilla scented perfume, so I feel like it goes. And I wanna let it kinda sit a little bit on me and see what it gives. But the girl, um, the girl, the cashier um, who checked me out, she said that they actually just started putting these out here. So this Target is getting a remodel. So that's why we have Ulta now and then like like everything is getting upgraded to be like the newest target so they were actually just starting to put these fragrances out that's why some of them were missing so i bet you if i come back like later in the week they'll actually have all of them and then i can smell the only i only didn't smell two of them i don't remember which two i didn't smell but i only didn't get a chance to smell two of them so this smells good i've never smelled product candy before but i like this so since I like this, I'm curious about real product candy. This, this one is very cute, smells really good. I did like, I don't know, I liked the Tom Ford Lost Cherry, but then again, I didn't like it. I don't know, maybe I'm just not really a cherry 
type of girl. Like I told you guys, I'm really just getting into perfume, so I'm trying to figure out what kind of scents I really like. I definitely do like things that are, you know, sweet and vanilla-like, but doesn't smell too much like food. Like, I don't like the Billie Eilish. It smells like food to me. I'm not a fan. Um, and I know I love fresh scented stuff. I should have just smelled the, um, the one that's supposed to be the Dolce Gabbana Duke so I could have told y'all if it really smells like light blue or not but I didn't so whatever um and then I got some cookies these are my favorite the Annie's if you guys have never had these it's basically like famous Amos but like an organic chocolate chip version so really good this stuff is not exciting tissues for my purse <laughs> and some Excedrin and that's it that's all I got. I did not even look at the clothes. I didn't, well, I kind of looked through it a little bit, but I didn't like look, look. And I did not look at the shoes, did not look at the jewelry, did not look at the accessories because I wasn't buying anything, period, okay? And you know, if you go look at something, you're going to want to pick it up. And we're not doing that today. So let's go ahead and go to, see these little nails. Honestly, you guys, only this one and then my thumb have come off. All of the other ones are still on like really good. So that's why I left them on. So this is definitely like a, I have somewhere to run tonight. Let me put these nails on, you know, but not like a, oh, let me do my nails for the week and have these on. Definitely not, not giving that. Okay, tell me why we did all of this and they closed this Bath and Body Works location. What? <laughs> unacceptable I can't believe this so I could go to the mall but why it's raining so I'm just like forget it I just won't worry about it and I saw in the app they have a coupon code um, to get free to get free shipping if you spend $50 so I'm just like okay well I was only gonna get like three candles but 13 times three is what I don't know girl I, I don't know my 13 times tables I only know up to 12 okay so um so yeah I might just go ahead and do that and then order them online it's like I'm all if it wasn't raining I would just go to the mall and get them but I'm just like ugh, I don't feel like getting out again I mean if I could park in the garage but if I park in the garage I gotta walk through the mall I have to walk through, I think it's the Macy's garage, so I could walk, I have to walk through. Girl, mm -mm, don't worry about it. Back home, let's open packages. So the first things we'll do is Amazon. I honestly, I don't remember exactly what it is. Oh yes, these for sure. Okay, these are those anti-sliding pads. I've shown these to you guys before. These are amazing. These are amazing. These, anything that's here, I'll link it in my Amazon store. But this color is the champagne gold. I got these to put in my clear heels. These are just, they're everything. If you're, you're <laughs> if your feet slip when you're wearing heels, like they push forward, like you see people and they're wearing heels and like their toes are over their heels hate that <laughs> you need some of these okay I promise you it will help next thing what? oh yeah nail glue y'all know this is my favorite nail glue the nail bond I felt like mine was running a little low so I went ahead and got another one then one more thing I know I keep talking about the green nails but I just want to make it clear that when I use this my nails stay on no lifting two weeks like no, no lifting nothing two weeks the the green problem comes in because i like to wear my press-ons for a month <laughs> i like to wear them for a month and so when i put them on they'll like be lifting but they're not coming off and so then the water gets under it and then that's how it turns green so i just want to make that clear the nail glue is bomb i just honestly i need to do my nails every two weeks but it's such a task like the way that i do them so that they they really stay on, you know, it, it, it takes time, okay? I am going to be laminating my eyebrows. I'm really, really excited about this. This is a brow lift kit. I'm gonna make a TikTok about it, obviously. Um, I'll probably just end up showing y'all like the before and after, but the details of how I'm gonna do it and everything will be on the TikTok. I watched some, oh, I watched several people, I watched several TikToks of people laminating their eyebrows, but to me, this kit was the best and 
the girl said that um this one every it's not glass bottles a lot of the times you'll see the glass bottles of the different solutions this one it's in um like little individual packs so that it stays fresh this is the pro kit they do have a regular one that's a little cheaper but that one is going to be um the glass bottles and she was like it's really better if you get this one so anyway all that to say girl i will be lam laminating my eyebrows what is going on? I need scissors. What is going on? Hello. Um, and I'm I'm incredibly excited about it. I cannot wait to see the results. Oh, I was like, what the hell is this? Okay, these are the little um the little sponges for your purse. Oh, they're so cute. How freaking cute. These are the ones that Chelsea Janae recommended, and somebody else had recommended them too um oh uh pretty brie i started i think i don't know if i told you i started watching her i love pretty brie like i started watching all her vlogs and her other some of her other videos too but anyway these are the little under eye puffs so this is so cute it's much thinner to put in your bag when you're going out because i be trying to bring my whole beauty blender with me <laughs> and you know it's just big and foamy this will be so nice and flat and i'll easily be able to my plan is just to take take it dip it in my Laura Mercier powder and then just wrap it in a tissue like just wrap it in a Kleenex and put it in my bag that's that's the plan that's normally what I do with my beauty blender but it's just that the beauty blender is so much bigger and I believe that's it I was hoping that my shoes and bag came I ordered shoes and a bag it still has not gotten here yet so hopefully that comes maybe it'll come tomorrow this is another package from Tree Hut. I told y'all Tree Hut sends a lot of PR. Oh, these are the, um, ooh. Oh, this is the peach sorbet I saw someone talking about. Okay, platinum. She was talking about the peach sorbet. If y'all watch her, y'all know she loves peach. So anytime she sees something in peach, she has to pick it up. So we have Bikini Reef, Pink Hibiscus, Blue Lagoon, and Peach Sorbet. So Bikini Reef. Ooh, this smells like, oh, I don't, oh, it smells like something like a mango popsicle or a peach popsicle. That smells good. Or like, um, like peach punch or something like, oh, that smells good. It's like, oh, you could eat it. Like, that's how good it smells. The pink. The pink hibiscus. Ooh, this smells like refreshing, but in a spa-like way, but fruity and fresh. Fruity and fresh, that's the best way to describe that one. Blue Lagoon. Oh, this, if you like masculine scents, this, yeah, it says this one is shea butter, red algae, and dead sea minerals. This one is pulling, it's like, it's masculine, but it's, it's giving, ooh, I, this smells so good. Tria needs to start making candles because some of these fragrances, and then the peach sorbet. Platinum says she wasn't sure if she really liked it, even though she likes peach. So let's see. Ooh, it smells, um... It smells like peach, but I feel like I'm pulling something else. Oh, it has apricot. Sun-kissed apricot and peach blossom. I like it, I'm not obsessed. I feel like this is my least favorite of the four. This, girl, this blue lagoon, be for real. I had just turned the oven on and I was like, oh, I'm gonna make a, um, a egg, cheese, and turkey bacon on a little bread but i'm like i'm having bread tonight because tonight i'm gonna have a chicken burger y'all know how i love the chicken burger so i'm gonna have that again tonight i had that last friday too but i'm gonna have that again tonight with fries so i'm really looking forward to that okay <laughs> but i don't know that i'm like okay if i eat french bread for breakfast and then i'm gonna have more bread for dinner girl it's a lot of bread but what else would i have i don't know i definitely want something savory like i have my pumpkin bread that i made yesterday but i don't really want that Okay, we're in my closet. I feel 
feel like this this camera stand is lopsided like just slightly but slight enough that it bothers me and I don't know I feel like maybe I don't know if it's the weight of the camera girl anyway look whatever we're in my closet okay so happy new year okay happy new year the new year is Monday or Tuesday depending on where you are in the world it the new year is the spring equinox so it's March 20th and March 21st happy spring but also happy new year so if you guys did not know um in i don't even want to say in the spiritual realm girl everything in the world is backwards okay like there's no way that you should be reinventing yourself and having a new year in the middle of winter having a new year january 1st literally makes absolutely no sense the new year is all about when everything is coming back to life which is spring which is the spring equinox so this is happening monday and tuesday today is friday like i said so I cleaned out my closet before. I'm pretty sure that I share that with you guys when I did it before, but I kind of want to go through it again. Um, because every time I come in my closet, I'm just like, I don't have anything to wear. I actually feel like I have no clothes. And obviously you see behind me lots of clothes. <laughs> in fact, let me take a picture in case I might want to use this for a thumbnail but most of the stuff is going to go to the shelter. I thought about doing um like y'all know girl trying on all the clothes putting the stuff on Poshmark trying to sell it or just trying to do like a regular website not like a um not like my web my business website with like Shopify but something um I can't think of it there's one off the top of my head I can't think of it but anyway you know like getting a regular website and just trying on the clothes putting them up there, selling them. And then I'm like, who wants to do that, bro? Like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to try on all of these pieces and load them up on a website and then only be selling them for $10, right? Because they're used, right? So it's like, I feel like I couldn't, anything over $15 for something that is used and has been in your closet, whether good condition or not, you know? And then it's like, I got to go get, stuff to package it in then I gotta go ship it off I gotta figure out about the about the shipping who look I'm not I'm not and there is you know some of the stuff that I may be pulling may have tags on it because I just I'm tired of keeping stuff that is not my style like it just doesn't make sense every time I come into my closet I just feel like there are such limited options and y'all can see there's a ton of shit behind me <laughs> but it's just not it's not for me anymore. If you got it, it ain't a question. Oh, it ain't no one for guessing. No more than emotionally invested. Showing you all my imperfections. Oh, if I let you take me for granted, yeah. If I were the one, then you could manage, manage, yeah. All we want to be, all we can be, honest. Close to me, all giving me sorry. jeans ever gonna come back in style comment down below and let me know if you predict that colored jeans are gonna come back should I donate these or should I keep them like we have this core these have never been worn I bought these in 2020 I bought them in 2020 before we knew that the world was gonna be closing and I feel like it's three years later and we have not worn colored colored jeans like the coral I have two pairs of burgundy, one with rips, one without, and then I have these lime green ones that I wore one time when I went looking for apartments um, like three years ago. <laughs> and so I'm just like, uh, I mean, even if color jeans do come back, what are the odds of me picking up these out of my closet and putting them on versus the odds of buying all new colored jeans. We already know the answer to this. We already know the fact that I'm leaning over like this, but I don't want to adjust the angle. And plus my battery's about to die. So yeah, girl, hmm, I think they have to go. Yeah. What we bought it, I'm putting